Hey, I'm back on an actual mic this time. So today we're going to talk about improving in art. There's three basic steps to learning in art. You can either be diagnosing something you need to learn, you can be studying, or you could be actually applying something. Diagnosing is basically what I just said, looking for stuff you want to improve. For example, you might be giving some pointers in a critique like your arms are too long, or your noses are too wide, or you need to work on values. Generally, you want to try to be specific, unless you're just trying to get into a fundamental for the first time. If you're trying to get into a fundamental for the first time, you want to try to cover as much as possible until you feel like you have a basic understanding of the whole thing, and then you are knowledgeable enough you can pick a smaller area where you feel like your time is best spent. So for example, when I was learning to like code or something, we spent time doing a wide range of activities until we were able to sort of just be told, okay, do this one thing, you can find out how to do it on your own, and we knew enough that we could actually do that. Studying is trying to learn information that's just not in your head already. Every time you draw, you have a chance of randomly bumping into a new way to do something. It's almost like a sort of mutation, but studying dramatically speeds up the new information available to you and the new methods you can learn. If you're just randomly drawing, you're not going to bump into things as quickly that you need to improve because your tendencies are going to be to always draw the same. You can study by doing life drawings, drawing people, places, things around you. For example, we do figure drawing at school where we draw the nudes. <laughs> Basically anything in the real world will really help you because you're trying to put down 3D objects on a 2D sheet of paper. So when you're studying from a photograph, what you're doing is you're looking at a 2D object, and then you're making a 3D in your head, and then you're putting it down in 2D again, so it's a lot harder to actually understand the object and apply it to your work if you're studying from photographs. But they can be helpful if you have no other way to look at something. Or if you have a firm understanding of perspective and how that thing's form already works. You can also study by studying other people's artwork, but you want to be very careful because their work can have mistakes that you can't see yet and start to give you some really bad habits that will take you years to break out of. You can avoid this by studying old masters or people known for their highly technical work or waiting until you have a solid grasp on the fundamentals before studying more cartoony things. If the person is still alive, you generally do not want to post studies of their work, especially without proper credit. This is just a general rule, but be careful because people don't like it when you post exact copies of their artwork online, unless they were born in the 1600s and then you don't have to worry about it. They've had their work copied quite a lot, but you should say it when your posts are a study, because people feel kind of betrayed when you don't. <laughs> so that's it for now. Let me know if you want me to explain something more specifically, or if you have a specific topic you want me to explain how to do. I'll see you guys! Bye!